Hey, it's Gotten Country 65 here again, and I'm going to do my first video on the car stuff um, that I'm into. I've got some parts here for my 65 Mustang that I'm going to show you uh, LED turn signals and tail lights. And um, you guys can trust me probably more than you can in my gun videos because I've been doing this longer than the guns. Um, it, uh, kind of show you a little bit here uh, this is rebuilding the Mustang from after it was wrecked that's it sitting at a car show uh, in the unfinished class that's actually my dad's 48 Ford sedan next to it that he's uh, still working on and um, car is pretty much complete now um, and you'll see a little bit of it more here in a little bit I just wanted to show you what I got for it. Um, I don't like fixing my Mustang. I hate that because of, uh, you'll see in another video uh, the wrecks I've had to go through. People can't, can't seem to uh, stop running into me. And um, anyway, this, this is upgrading it. Upgrading it is always fun. So here's um, one of the best upgrades you can do, I think. Um, so hopefully people see me better. <laughs> uh, this is the front turn signals, 65, 66 Mustang, 64 and a half if you have one. And this is what they look like. Uh, real nice, um, real good looking uh, lens cap. Um, it's full of LEDs in there. I mean, it's just it, they're cram packed in there. Uh, you get everything is sealed with like an epoxy so you don't have to worry about these connections or anything getting messed up uh, you can't hit them you can't hurt them these things are real nice these are United Pacific okay show you a little bit what they are rodworks.com is where I got them I actually got them at an NSRA show uh, that's just the uh, and they were there so I picked them up directly from them they sell any LED light you can think of practically for an old car truck whatever uh, everything's there uh, if you're unfortunate enough to own an old Camaro they got those there too uh, just kidding guys anyway um, so there's the front turn signal it's funny it says 64 Ford park light um, I can't remember what if those actually were used on like fair lanes and stuff like that. I don't remember for sure. Um, but anyways, I know they're 65, 64 to 66 Mustang. Um, the tail light housing. So a big one piece housing. Uh, you got your standard reflector area here, and then you can see where the uh, spots are where there's no. LED, that's just where the the bars or the lens. If I had the housing right here with me, I'd show it to you. Um, that's where the, the housing cr covers that, so there's no need for them to be there. These things are super bright. I will give you a picture or a little piece of video um, here in a little bit that shows that. Same thing on the back. Uh, you can actually feel these a little bit, but they are completely still uh, encased in that epoxy so you don't have to worry about any of that ever popping loose or anything so plenty of wire on the back of these uh, you kinda have to roll it up inside the housing like that so these are super easy to put in for the rears and um, the fronts at first I thought was actually kinda difficult you cannot reach up in there unless you've got some freaky long fingers cannot reach up in there press it in and turn it with your hand but see that slot you just stick your screwdriver right there push it up in there and turn it piece of cake they're super easy to install and it's all one piece so you don't have the bulb and then the cap uh, it's just all it's all together so um, you still need to put your uh, um, gasket behind there 
that's no big deal. The gasket actually stick stays up in there on the front. Um, there's a gasket that goes right here that you'll put in there. Put it out around that on this before you set that in there. And this does not separate. So if it goes out, that's the only drawback I think to these um, is that you cannot pull this out and replace it. You have to replace the entire thing. So, and yeah, these, from according to Rodworks, these things have some kind of uh, UV protection stuff in them. They're not supposed to fade. So, um, if they did, it'd probably be you know 20 years down the road anyway. So no big deal. Um, Try to think. Oh, they cost. I think we paid 180. Five for everything. Um, the rears were like 85 for a set, and I think the fronts were like 65 or something like that uh, for a set. Eh, 185 doesn't sound quite right. So anyway, um, you can check it out on Rodworks.com. So this is the um, flasher. When you're using uh, front and rear um, LEDs, they'll work against each other and won't come on at all. Uh, don't ask me to explain why or how it does that, but you have to get this if you're using fronts and rears and replace it. Replace your factory flasher with this and it'll be fine. It'll work just like Ford uh, put it together. So uh, this was from them too and I, I know this one was only 10 bucks. Uh, I don't know if that was a show special or what, but that's all it cost. So I'll be doing a little video, putting those in, showing them to you. Okay, so here's the the socket. Okay, for the. Hope you can still hear me. My washing machine's going. The original lens and everything. Fit right up in there like that. Okay. Got the screwdriver mounted up against that, like that. I'll just line those little tabs up, just like a normal light bulb. Push in and turn. Secure. That's all there is to it. And don't forget, before you put that in, put your um, gasket on, your lens gasket, okay? I don't have to line that up until I actually put the screws in, so. Okay, so make sure you have your gasket on here. Put your screw in. To hold that gasket in place. And you should have already put that gasket on before you plugged it in, by the way. Because you can't do it afterward. Oh. It would have helped if I'd have grabbed a Phillips screwdriver. Hold on a second. Looks like those screws will hold just fine. They were a little short. Kind of had me worried there for a second. But you can feel them biting. Anyway, there's how it looks mounted. I'll get the other side done. And uh, I got to get the new flasher plugged in. And we'll light these puppies up. Okay, there's the uh, parking lights on. Okay. Okay, so here I am under the dash of my Mustang. Just to point out, here's the flasher area. That's where the original is. You can see this one's a little bit bigger round, so I kind of had to spread that out to get it to hold into the original 
spot. But uh, it's it's good and tight. It's not going anywhere. And then a perfect spot for the ground wire that comes off of that, okay? Because it has to be grounded it's because it's just the, something in the way that the LED flash works has to have this ground. The, the original one doesn't. Um, right up here is a factory bracket where the vent, yeah, the vent cable is screwed onto that. And I've put it right there. It's perfect length. Runs nice and tight up again around that, so it doesn't hang out loose. And uh, so, for you Mustang guys, uh, everybody else is a little different, I'm sure. Um, and I'm probably Mustang in any Ford like Falcon or Fairlane or anything like that, uh, all going to be real similar. There's an there's an X and an L marked on these, and it's also on your original. Um, or your replacement that you have already but the orange hot wire runs to that X okay this has a little bit of paint on it from painting the dash and everything but um, orange hot wire runs to the X you don't need the uh, polarity reversing cap that comes on this at all it's because they're two separate wires back here so you just pop them off that one pop it on here in the right spot run that ground and that's it there's nothing else to it and that ground is real easy to to uh to attach to that just use a little short stubby phillips to back that out just enough to slide that under i didn't i didn't take it completely out because it'd be probably be a pain to get a cable on everything back in there so anyway that's it on installing the flasher okay so i'm going to do a quick test of the uh the new LED lights here in the dark. It's nighttime now. My lovely assistant, also known as my wife, is in the car and she's going to do the, the lights for me. Okay? So I'll flip the lights off and we'll, we'll see how big a difference it really, or really how bright they are at night. Okay? Okay, babe, pull the headlights on one click. Ugh. I left one original light in the in the rear and you can just see the difference right there at night I mean can you see that I mean obviously you can see that look at that see how perfect everything looks there versus you know the old school okay just pump the tail lights The difference in the, the delay on and off of that standard bulb it's pitiful it really makes the car look old even though it's completely restored and you know up-to-date modern electronics and everything inside on the engine the ignition and all that stuff so these are kind of a must-have I think for a resto mod vehicle okay one final note on the only thing that I found out that you have to actually modify um, is when you have a 64 and a half, 65 that has a single turn indicator lamp on the, uh, on the instrument cluster it uses the left and the right wires for the front to, um, to flash this light so since they feed each other it makes both flashers flash at the same time kinda like hazards so all I had to do was cut these and it works so um, if you don't care about having an indicator lamp on the dash just cut them and leave it alone. If you want an indicator lamp, you need to wire in a new bulb receptacle and ground it to something under the dash for each one of these wires. It's really all you got to do is uh, figure out which one, which side is which by uh, flipping on the uh, the turn signals and letting it run. All right, that's the only modification, real true modification you have to make.